Hello everyone, this is my first video and in this I would like to explain you the flue analysis, the flue gases analysis by the Orsit apparatus. First of all, what is flue gas? Flue gas is a mixture of carbon dioxide, carbon, monodi carbon monoxide, oxygen. These are coming out by the combustion chamber. These are analyzed by the Orsit apparatus method. The main aim of this experiment is to be measure the amount of the flue gases released that how much amount of carbon dioxide is released, how much amount of carbon monodioxide is released and how much amount of oxygen is released from the combustion chamber. By using Orsit apparatus we determine all of these gases. This is Orsit apparatus. In this a long horizontal tube which having three which having three way stop cock at the first end and graduated burette at the second end this is a graduated burette the lower end of the burette is connected to the water reservoir here and the burette is surrounded by the water jacket the upper end of the burette is connected to three series of absorption bulbs in which first bulb is having potassium hydroxide solution second bulb is having pyrogalolic acid solution and third bulb is having ammonical cuprous chloride solution The three way stop cock is connected with a U shaped tube which having flue gases inside it. Flue gases are directly entered from the combustion chamber to the U shaped tube and at this time this uh, three way stop cock is open the gases is directly sent to the burette because all of the three absorption bulbs having stop cock but these are closed at this time now first of all the stop cock of the absorption bulb first containing potassium hydroxide solution is opened. The gas is passed into the bulb raising the water level in the burette. The gas is entered into the bulb come in contact of potassium hydroxide solution which it absorbs the CO2. This same process is repeat at several times. So on second absorption bulb it absorb oxygen and the third absorption absorbing bulb absorb carbon monoxide. Similarly, the volume of oxygen and carbon, mono, and carbon monoxide are determined by the passing of these remaining gases through alkaline pyrogalol and ammonical cuprous chloride solution respectively. After the absorption of carbon dioxide, oxygen and carbon monoxide in their respective bulb, the gas which is left into the burette is estimated as nitrogen here is complete combustion occurs because the amount of co2 is high in this absorbing bulb the amount of co is high so incomplete combustion takes place and the less sufficient of oxygen we supplied the amount of oxygen is high the more amount of oxygen is supplied